you are watching Redicon. So now we're going to go through these things one by one. That's an obvious uh, abnormal plane radiograph showing an uh, open pelvic, uh, open book pelvic fracture, AP compression type. But it's unlikely in the exam that they're going to show you this kind of a film. But you can, the reason I put this on is to just demonstrate there is significant, there is signif there's marked widening of the pubic symphysis. There's overlap of the right sacroiliac joint. So it's, a, uh, it's an unstable pelvic fracture. In contrast, if you look at this, there is still diastasis of the pubic symphysis on this film. But the arrow, arrows point that there is uh, a cephalocaudal uh, um, dissociation so it's like a vertical chair kind of injury right this is a normal ap radiograph of an adult female demonstrating smooth symmetrical contours of the sacroiliac joint spaces right for the clever eye, you can look at the acetabuli and you can see there is a figure of eight a crossover sign it's unlikely they're going to show this in the exam the reason i put this on is that this film shows the normal appearances of the sacroiliac joint. In contrast to this X-ray, and you can see that that there is you can you can't you can't appreciate the sacroiliac joint spaces. So there is complete ankylosis of the sacroiliac joints, mild degenerative changes in the hip joints. In contrast, if you look at this film, you can see again similar findings but a bit more pronounced. You can't see any joint space. This is again ankylosing. This is, this is chronic sacroiliitis or ankylosis of both sacroiliac joints. For the clever eye, clever eye people, you can see there is a syndesmophyte arising from the right inferior aspect of the L4. So this is a typical case of ankylosing spondylitis. Okay, again, I put this as an index film. Now you compare it with this, this case, again, an adult female, I mean, look at the sacroiliac joints. They appear widened, but there is like subarticular resorption. And in, in addition, you can see, look at the pubic symphysis. There is expensile lesion in the, in, in the left pubic body and also in the right pubic body. Keep looking. You can see there is some subperiosteal resorption at the superior aspect of the right femoral neck. So when, when presented with this film, you're going to describe these findings and say that I'm thinking about a generalized metabolic process. Is there any previous film? And the examiner might give you a chest X-ray. And then on a the chest X-ray, if you look at the edges of the film, you can see resorption of the lateral ends of clavicle. So the diagnosis is pretty clear now. So this is hyperparathyroidism. Moving on. Again, 30-year-old female with back pain. Keep looking. So you can see an expensile lesion in the left sacral ala, which is subarticular, though there is overlying gas. So think sometimes the, the overlying bowel gas can put you away, but keep looking. I mean, now you've seen that abnormality. You can't get your eyes away from it. So this is a lytic lesion in the sacrum. So don't forget the sacrum. If it's on one side subarticular, then it could be a GCT. Or if it's in the midline, then you have to think about a chordoma. So in sacrum, if you see a large expensile lytic lesion, think about either a GCT, chordoma in the midline, and myeloma in metastases should come in one breath. Expensile uh, in plasma cytoma or metastases from renal cell, typical uh, examples. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.